get into that look. Y'all probably some nice old good on my way to where I'm on my way to. Good morning, good morning, hey y'all, hey, happy Tuesday, how y'all doing today, I am Nikki, I am Nicole, and you're watching Life with Nikki Nicole, if you are viewing me for the first time, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, go ahead and turn the red subscribe button, pray for me, and become a part of the Life family, it is free 99 to join, it costs you nothing to be a part, it's free 99 to subscribe, so how about that, you ain't gotta pay nothing, it's zero boost, so go ahead and become a a part of the life family and we are going to treat you like life over here anyway you guys so we are starting our weekly vlog like i said happy tuesday today is tuesday today is tuesday july 19th y'all i am dressed but not dressed i just got on some like little bike okay y'all i'm back for i was cut off by my phone Anywho, I, I just came out just for a second. I had to run to the store because I'm out of coffee creamer. So, can I drink black coffee? Anyways, so, um, I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited about what's going on right now. I had a phone interview today. And so, I go for a second interview on tomorrow. I'm super excited about that. Yeah, y'all, yeah, like I said, I'm super excited about that. I am recreating, declaring that the job is mine. But anyways, hope everyone is having a successful, prosper, prosperous Tuesday so far. So I know um, I told you guys on my last video that I had a bunch of content. The content is past tense, so I'm not going to... Um, go back and create a video and put all this stuff that's past tense. We're in the middle of July now, so we just gonna pick up from here. We'll actually pick up from the last video that I posted, which was our, this past weekend, our, um, our, um, the birthday, well, not my birthday, the birthday last that we did for someone. So, yeah, so we just gonna pick up from there and keep, keep going. It, it doesn't make any sense to do that. It was just clips here and there anyway, because I was so busy moving and stuff like that. And I am gonna um do the um go ahead and show you guys the, the moving um video. I am gonna do that. So hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm back. I had to get in the house because I didn't wanna um for safety reasons I do not like recording on the outside of where I live so I try to make sure that that is not visible, if you know what I mean. So anyway, I mean, I'm back in. So like I said, I just went um, to pick up some coffee creamer. I'm about to make some coffee. Um, I think I'm gonna make some bacon this morning. To start the day. But like I was saying, I am gonna um, give you guys the, um, the moving video. But all of the other little clips and stuff, I decided not to go with that. We just, like I said, we just gonna pick up from here and get back on the bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you guys, so, like I said, I'm getting ready to make some coffee and just chill. I guess I'll do, y'all be, I'm something else. I'll be trying to see what cup I'm going to use. See, I have my Jesus and coffee, I have worship and chill, I have peace, I have the coffee with the B on it. So like uh, the coffee, not coffee, but coffee cups, y'all. You know, I'll be knowing which one I wanna use, so. Anyways, like I said, I'm not gonna bore you guys. Nothing is really going on right now. I'm just about to uh, make me some coffee and make me some breakfast. My day has already started, so did get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, did all that. Clean clothes, you know, things our mothers taught us to do. That's what I've been doing. Wiping off the counter, y'all. Y'all know this, I live by these. 
not this one in particular, but this came in a three pack, so I use them so fast, it's almost time to go buy some more. But yeah, cleaning off the cabinet. I do not use these towels, and my reason for that is because I feel like you can just throw these away. Now, it does, I feel like if you're using a dish towel and you're, um, you, you even though you might rinse that dish towel out, you turn around, pick it up, and use it again. That's only putting back the filth that to me that you already wiped off the counter. So I stopped using those. Kind of like how I with my face. I don't use face towels. I just use facial wipes, cleansers. Once I clean my face, and boom, in the trash. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, you guys, I'm gonna um, not bore you. I might come back a little later um, if. Um, I get out and do anything, but I just wanted to start the weekly vlog. So again, I am Nikki. I am Nicole, and you are watching Life with Nikki. Nicole, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and turn that red subscribe button. Great for me to come a part of the Life Family. Life Family. Life Family. Life Family. You know I love you. And uh, peace out to my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. It means the world to me. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I got 35 views in one day. That's good for me because they don't never really, that rarely ever happens. And I am super excited about that. I'm going to keep pushing it and keep going. It's a slow growth for me, but that don't mean I can't grow. So it's all in God's time and what he has in store for me. So anyway, I'll come back and talk to you guys later. Peace. Okay, y'all, I found this new, um, well, it ain't new, but I found this at the Dollar Tree. Sweet Sensations. It's a sugar-free French vanilla, um flavored serve so we're gonna try this today um and the coffee it says it has a great taste so we about to see i've already um put it in my cup i did three uh tablespoons for just to let's see what it tastes like and then i'm gonna eat, also add a spoon of caramel in my coffee so we're gonna see i don't know if i, I did i think i did tell y'all i remember i told y'all i had to get rid of, of my curing because it just was not acting right. And I still have to purchase another one. Um, right now, um, money is just not prohibited for that. So, y'all, I've been using this Starbucks Instant Coffee. And when I tell y'all, it is really good. Um, I'll either do that or I'll either do a cold brew coffee. But I've been using this for my hot coffee, y'all. And it's, been, it's really good. I can't wait to give me another curing, though. <laughs> Cause I like to brew my coffee, but in the meantime, you know, you have to improvise. So this is what I've been using and it's pretty good. Um, now it is like seven, almost $7. I got it from Walmart. I'm not for sure. I'm quite sure. I know for a fact you can find it in places like Target. Um, because Target is a Starbucks store. So I don't know if it would be cheap or not. I heard that um, Starbucks, Star, Target, Starbucks. <laughs> The Target has lowered their prices, y'all. So I'll be going in and check it out. I might be able to find this, find some more and also some different flavors um, for cheaper because Walmart only had this flavor. And they had this flavor and they had pink peak roast, which as y'all can see, I have plenty peak roast coffee. So I didn't need that. So, <laughs> so we're going to try this, y'all. Well, I, it's good. Um, y'all. I'm saying we're gonna try it. I've already tried it. It's really good. So this is what I'm using today for my coffee. And yeah, I'll be back with you guys later. Hey y'all, what's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? I'm getting ready to um step out for just a bit. Um so I'm about to get ready to um style my little hair. Probably get ready to go hang out. For some Tuesday night fun. Y'all already know the products I use. This is Kaleidoscope Milk and Drops Styling Foam. So, just gonna style this my little hair right quick. I already got my face done. Isn't it pretty, y'all? My daughter, my youngest daughter, is a makeup artist. So y'all, I'll put her information below. If you're in the Houston area and you need your makeup done for any occasion or you just want to look beautiful for yourself, you most definitely can hit her up. I will put her information in the description box. I'm gonna get a little closer so y'all can see the look. 
<laughs> get into that look. Isn't it gorgeous? So I want to hear you guys. Let me pop up with some energy because I sound like I'm just dragging on it. I'm trying to get this hat together before I step out. <clears throat> like I said, I'm just stepping out for a minute. Um, just got on some jeans and a, y'all seen this shirt before, a Leah um, graffiti tee has good vibes on it. And I'm just going to throw on my black sneakers because I want to be comfortable. But you know, I always got to try to come with the cuteness. You know, you, you know, I got to put that beauty in with it. So anyway, you guys, I'm just talking to y'all while I style this hair. Y'all, get into it. Y'all see it's growing back. And them edges is growing back. Nina, you want to come here and tell them your information? Because they, they in the Houston area and they want their makeup did. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, y'all. She don't want y'all to see her and her bunny. So we're just going to put it in the description box. Okay, y'all. Y'all see this? 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 My hardest thing with this is styling this because of them edges, but they are growing. This side is going quicker than that side, as y'all can see. But it's coming in, so it is what it is. I need to re-up on my gel, y'all. My am almost out. I like this gel. I ain't gonna even lie, I love it. I love it. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna style this up real quick and I'm gonna come back in a minute and show y'all the little outfit that I have on. Like I said, it's nothing special, just something cute and casual. And it's alright to be that way sometimes. No, I'm not wearing no heels because we're just going to just hang out and have some fun. So there's no need for no heels for that. So. All right, y'all, I'm going to come back in a minute. Hey, if y'all in the Houston area, y'all can find me some names of a good barber because I need somebody to give me a cut, like a, a really stylish cut. I mean, my sister taper cut it, but I want to get this. I just want a little bit more edge to it. So y'all drop me some names of some good, reasonable barbers in the Houston area. It doesn't matter where they are. Um... Just drop me some names in the, uh, in the comments, y'all, of somewhere I can go. Y'all y'all have seen my style so far, so y'all know what I like. That could probably suffice my style in the Houston area. I mean, I know some of the best barbers, but they live in Louisiana, so I need somebody here. So y'all drop me some in the comments. Just wanted to come back and say that really quick. Only thing that I don't want to lose, I like to lay my edges, so I don't want, I like to tape a part there. I don't know. I just need a, a more of an edgy cut. You know, so we'll see. Hey, y'all, let me tell y'all the um, fragrance that I'm using for tonight. Jovan White Mousse, don't sleep on it. This smells really good. That's why I put it out of the Walmart. And I'm mixing it actually with a dupe of Dolce and Cabana Light Blue, and it's called Capri Breeze. This smells good together, so I, I I put this on then later with this, and it has an awesome smell, you guys. Very fresh if you like to smell fresh. So this is what I'm wearing tonight. And so, yeah, that's it. Let me show y'all the outfit, and I'm about to get out of here. 
Okay, y'all, so here is tonight's outfit. Just like I said, some jeans. I cuffed them up myself. This is something that I like to do. I have on my Aaliyah tee, graffiti tee, which I cut up the middle and cut down there just to give like a little style. I think it's cute. Let me get a little closer so y'all can see. And I just got on some. Y'all, these came from Mama, but they're not Faded Glory. They are a uh, Terra Sky. I want some Terra Sky jeans. I've worn these several times before. And I have on just some little black sneakers that also came from Walmart. Um, never mind if they ain't name brand. If you want to send me some name brand shoes, I'll surely accept them. Um, but this is what we're wearing tonight. Just comfy and cute. Have on my um, Apple Watch. I have on the gold and silver band today. Got on a little gold and black bracelet, paparazzi. My mama said paparazzi, and that's what she gave me. If you're interested in buying, I will list her information in the description below. Just comment and let me know. And just a little gold chain, little gold earrings. And y'all already seen the makeup. Get into it one more time. Y'all see that? So, yeah, just something cute, something simple. And yeah, that's the outfit for tonight. So, I just want to show y'all that really quick. I showed y'all the fragrance that I'm wearing. And I'm smelling good and looking good, babe. So, yeah, if I can get this front to look like this bag. We have something going on. But anyway, so y'all, this is the outfit for tonight. And I'm about to step out. I'll see you guys later. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's going on? I am Mickey. I'm Nicole. And I am back. And I am on my way to where I'm on my way to. <laughs> y'all, I'm just at peace right now. And I'm loving it. I'm in a great mood. And I'm loving it. And I pray, 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 pray to God, that he keeps me this way. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I am on my way um, to where I'm on my way to. And I just thought I would come in and take you guys for a ride to on my way to where I'm on my way to. <laughs> but anyway, I hope everyone has had a beautiful Tuesday so far. I hope your day your day has been great as well as mine has been. Um, I'm super excited, y'all. I'm super excited. I really feel like God has opened a door for me. And I am super excited about that. You hear me? So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. I'm just um, driving. So I just thought I would talk to you guys while I was driving. Um, I don't know where I'm going, of course. So I ain't going to be able to talk to y'all long because I got to follow the GPS. But where I'm at right now, I know how to get to where I need to be then from there. Um, I got to follow the GPS. But anyway, you guys, um, I hope everything has been good for you and that everything is falling in place for you. And whatever you're going through, just remember, you know, I like to encourage y'all. Because when I encourage y'all, a lot of times I'm encouraging myself. You know, we go through a lot in life. And y'all, baby, this camera doing this makeup. Oh, wow. Honey. Oh. Baby, she beat this face. Y'all, y'all better get into it. Y'all better get into it. I will be dropping her information in the description box. If you are in the Houston, Texas area, around this area, or want to travel or come into Houston and you need your makeup done, y'all need to hit my baby. Oh, hit oh, up, y'all. She, she beat this face, y'all. <laughs> I actually should have had her do it Sunday, but uh, it's all good. I gotta promote my baby. I, uh, she don't want to get free, free, free promotion. <laughs> she don't want to get promoted for free. Anyway, you guys. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Um, I keep saying it because I want y'all to have a wonderful day. I really do. A wonderful night. So um, have an interview in the morning, y'all, at nine. So, wish me blessings. Not luck, but blessings on that. Wish me blessings. So, yeah. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. I'm ready to get things. Things are, are falling in order. I ain't gonna even lie, y'all. I haven't worked since. 
almost two months. I haven't worked in almost two months. And I, when I promise you that God has not let me lack, lack, let me and my family lack in nothing. God has put people in place um, to help. And I am just grateful to God for that. I am so grateful to God for that. I have not lagged. I had, I mean, he's just been keeping us going, providing our needs. Wants are not even a uh, something to discuss right now, but he has provided our needs, and I am truly grateful unto God for that. He has kept us, kept us going through the go through. You feel me? Like I am so excited. God is who He says He is, and God does what He says He will do. I promise you that. I promise you that. Especially if you His child, and He loves you. Well, all of us are His children. When you're chosen by God, He gonna take care of you, for real. And we are chosen one way or another, whether we believe it or not. We are we're chosen by God for greatness. Greater is within us, whether we see it or not. Whether we are putting forth the effort or not, we may be putting forth the effort and just seem like God. I'm putting forth this effort in, and I'm not growing. I'm not. Nothing is expanding. He has His time and place for everything for all of us. So we just have to learn patience. Because sometimes it's a trust, teaching of trust. He's teaching, I'm teaching you how to trust me, daughter. I'm teaching you how to trust me, son. I move when I get ready to move. It's just That's just how he is, you know what I'm saying? And like a lot of times we miss the mark because we're impatient. And we don't wait on God like we should. And we don't trust and know that he got us when he got us. Like, I've been there. I, I'm, a, I'm a living witness of that. I can transparently tell you. That I have, I, there are many times that I were not was not patient with God, and I tried to do it myself. I made I made the mistake, and I didn't do it God's way. You know what I'm saying? And so, with, with that being said, I had to go through what I had to go through and suffer the consequences because I was disobedient. And I tell y'all this story all the time. So, you know, with that being said, y'all, He still has taken care of me. He still has taken care of me. Not once, one time have me. And my family been out on the streets. Now, one time have we not have we even missed a meal? It's just how God, how good God has been to us. Even with me not working, you know, He's still been good. He still blessed us with a better place of living, which I absolutely love. We were in a small little one bedroom. You know, that's how I had to start out when I moved here to Houston, but it is what it is. I'm not, like I told y'all, I keep it real. It's real life over here. I'm not faking it, shaking. You know what I'm saying? But God has blessed, blessed me and my family with something better, and I am grateful unto God for that, for His favor, His grace, His mercy, His kindness. It's, it's, it's brand new every day. It's up for us. It's up to us to endure and, you know, feel it, or it's up for us to, what I want to say, not endure, but it's up, up, up to us to take it, take advantage of His grace and mercy and use it. At the next to line, us to turn right. So y'all, I'm gonna get up off of here so I can follow the GPS, and I'm gonna probably see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Good morning, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, how are y'all this morning? Happy Wednesday. Pray everyone so far is having a wonderful, wonderful morning, y'all. I am up and in it early this morning. I am leaving a job interview, y'all, and it went so great. Uh, still don't know if I have the job yet, but I'm claiming this job by faith that it is mine, and so yeah, and I really like the opportunity that they're offering. Um, it is working um, with high school students so I am grateful truly grateful for the opportunity and I pray that um, God gives me favor I believe that he is going to give me the favor um, and I'm just claiming it by faith so yeah I'm truly truly tremendously excited um <laughs> What's so amazing, me and the manager had a lot of things in common, y'all. You just never know where you're going to be. And I just, you know, I had to just make a post on my Facebook platform and just say, you know, you see transformation right before your eyes when God placed you where he wants you to be. And there's no decision made by you. God knows exactly 
what to do, when to do it, and how to move. Even though sometimes we act like he don't, and we be constantly trying to do it ourselves. Yeah, I don't know what I mean. We be constantly trying to do it ourselves, child. Oh, no, nah, we, we can't. So I think I'm supposed to turn out there. I'm going by the apartments. Okay, I'm going to have to circle around, y'all. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know how to get out of here. Anyway, as I was saying, like, you can see the transformation before your eyes, you know? Like, I'm just grateful even for, even, even for just meeting her and talking with her. And, you know, we have a lot in common and, you know, a um, beautiful spirited person and you know i just i'm claiming a job i'm claiming a job so we gonna see um yeah i don't know how i got here i think i still just miss my own why well, how i got out of it. i don't know how i got here yeah come on baby because i don't know where i'm going i'm going in circles y'all <laughs> you can tell i ain't from here instead i'm still learning so um, I try to always remember a path that I take so I can go back that path without always having to use the G GPS. You can learn better that way. So, I think this is the way out, yeah. Mr. Willow. Okay, y'all. So, yeah. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. So, anyway, I hope everyone is having a wonderful morning. I, I don't think I have not done this morning was had my coffee and I feel like I had it. <laughs> uh, so, I'm just so, so ecstatic. I thank God. Even for the opportunity of just meeting her, you know. But anyways, I um, just want to come in and just say good morning. And spread some love and some sunshine on you today. Hope all is well with all of you. If you're up and at work, I pray that you have a good work day. If you're up and just moving around in your home, you're not working a day, just relaxing and chillaxing. I pray that your day is just beautiful. If you're getting out and about, I pray that I pray God's grace and mercy. Traveling grace and mercy goes with you and that no incidents, no accidents happen. Um, and that you have a joyous day, that there will be peace in your life on today. There will be love, there will be sunshine, there will be just everything of peace on today. Everything of joy, everything of happiness, everything of kindness be upon you on today. And that's in Jesus' name. Oh, y'all, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, oh my God. There's some things happening in my life. Sometimes you got to go through the struggle to get to where God is taking you. And I, I realized that now it took, it took me too long to realize this. It took me too long. If I would just sit, st be still, if I would have just stayed still and know that he was God, if I would have just stayed still <sighs> and been patient. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Um, anyone that knows me, knows me, know that I love, love the young people. I love the youth. So to be, to have an opportunity to work with high school sc schoolers, that is just phenomenal for me. Um, because I've always loved young people from all ages. And I seem to always have a connection with them. And I know that God, that this one of the ministries that God has given me. Um, he's given me so many ministries that um, i just been sitting on. And I need to operate in those ministries. And that's one of them. Um, he's given me the ministry of worship and pra praise and worship. He's, he's instilled some things in me. And it's time for me to do it God's way. And it's time for me to move forward. And... I'm doing just that. I have to. In order for me to live, my life depends on doing what's right before God. And I know I know that. So, uh, I know that there are distractions that are going to come. But I am praying that God gives me sensitive discernment, if that's a thing. So I can detect it immediately. You know what I'm saying? So I can know the distraction immediately that the enemy tries to bring up on me. Because they coming. 
it, 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 it never fails. But sometimes we get so we get so wooed by the wild. We get wooed by the wild that we miss it. That we don't we don't see that it's a distraction till it's already been distracted. So ask God. I'm asking God. I want y'all to ask God too. God give me sensitive discern discernment so that I can detect it quickly. It's like, you know, a person with sensitive skin. So if they touch something that just don't agree with them, they break out quickly. Give me sensitive discernment, God, so that I can detect distraction, detect what's not for me, detect something that you did not place in my life instantly. That's what I'm asking God for this morning. So, y'all, that's going to be probably it for the day, unless I get out a little later. If I do, you know, I'm going to come in and let y'all know. I actually had an awesome time on last night. It was great. It was fun. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah. So, we will chit-chat a little later. I'm headed back to the house. About to probably give me a cup of coffee. Um, and just chill out. I'm so excited. I'm on edge to see, you know what the outcome is and I am praying, praying, praying. Y'all pray for me also that God, that God does what he do. I'm excited like and it's, it's not too far from home and it is I don't have to work overnight, all night because it's like the job I was I, have, I well I didn't post the clips but I went to a job interview a couple of weeks ago but the job was offering overnight position and that was something that I really, really, really didn't want, you know what I'm saying? And but at the time, I know that I need a job because bills gotta be paid. And um, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not in entrepreneurship yet, but I know it's coming. So right now, I gotta do what I gotta do. So with that being said, I was gonna, you know, take the job, but it didn't work out that way. They emailed me this morning, as a matter of fact, wanted me to come in and take another um drug test. I don't know what happened, so. I don't know. Um, I, I will know tomorrow the outcome of the interview that I just left. I'm speaking it into existence. And so it, um, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to have faith and doubt. We're going to believe and trust God that we're going to know. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to get back with you later. Um, I'll be coming to you once I get inside the house. But I love you guys.